Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Rao in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given system of equations. Here, we need to solve by matrix inversion method. I'm going to make it easy for you. So, please stay with me until the end. Now, the given equations are this. Okay. See, uh, first, we have to write this in matrix form. Now, how we are going to write it? See, it's pretty simple. The given equations can be written as like this. Now, how I got this? See, listen carefully. How I got the first matrix? The first matrix is made with x, y, z coefficients. See, see the first equation. LHS. x means 1 into x, y means 1 into y, z means 1 into z. So, I get 1, 1, 1, the coefficients of x, y, z. 1, 1, 1. That's why here 1, 1, 1. Now, next. Here you see 2x. That means coefficient of x is 2. Here 2y. Coefficient of y is 2. And 3z. Coefficient of z is 3. So, 2, 2, 3. Likewise, 1, 4, 9. Okay. Now this, when it will multiply, now another matrix x, y, z is equal to this 1, 6, 3. Now how the multiplication happens is, just, just one thing I'll explain, see, row by column, right? So 1 into x plus 1 into y plus 1 into z is equal to 1. So x plus y plus z is equal to 1. So that's how we get, okay? That's the logic, how things might work. Fine. Now, next, let's go ahead. Shall I? Now. Take this first matrix as A, second matrix as capital X and the matrix on the R RHS as D, capital D. Okay. So, this and this matrix equation, I can write it like AX equal to D because this is A, this is X, this is D, AX equal to D. Fine. Chalo. Now, before applying matrix inversion method, first we have to check whether the determinant of this, determinant of A is equal to 0 or not. If determinant is equal to 0, then we cannot use matrix inversion method. Okay. Fine. So, that A. Fine. I hope you guys already know how to find it. But in, if you do not know, I'll explain. I'll go a bit slow here. If you feel you already know that calculation, you could speed up a little here. But I want to help those who have difficulty as well. See, how we calculate that is, listen to me carefully. See, I'm going to take first row. First row. So, first. 1 into 1 into what I'll get 1 into debt of C. The close the row and column in which one is there, like this, this, and this. Now, what else is left out? 2, 3, 4, 9. 1 into debt of 2, 3, 4, 9. In between, minus will come. Minus 1. Now, the second one. Okay. Now, the second one. Now, the second one. Now, 1 into again for this. Since this element we are considering, close the row and column in which is there. What is left? 2, 3, 1, 9. So, 1 into minus 1 into debt of 2, 3, 9. This minus will come. Okay. And next, this minus is like fixed. You can understand it in between. Whenever we expand, in between, if this would have been minus 1, so I'd get minus of minus 1. So, minus is there. Now, next, plus 1. Now, the third one in my row. So, this is what I had yet. Mm. So, fine. So, uh, close the row and column in which it is there. So, what I would get? 2, 2, 1, 4. Okay. I hope things are clear. Fine. Chalo, now. Now, let's get to simplifying this. Debt of 2, 3, 4, 9. This is 2 into 9 minus 4 into 3. 2 into 9 minus 4 into 3. 2 9s are 18 minus 4 3s are 12. Okay. Now, next. Minus 1 is there. 2 9s are 18. Minus 1 into 3 is 3. So, 18 minus 3. 2 4s are 8 minus 1 into 2. 8 minus 2. Now, basic simplification. 6 minus 1 and 2, you know, 15 plus 1 into 6. So, 1, 6 minus 15 plus 6. So, there's nothing about minus 3 and not equal to 0. The given system of equations can be solved by matrix inversion method. Fine. I hope things are clear. Chalo, now let's go ahead. Now, we know that we can solve using solve by using matrix inversion method. Now, next word, we need to find out cofactor matrix. But before that, I want to say, I just say something. See, those who sweat more during practice bleed less during war. Those who sweat more during practice bleed less during war. What does it mean? Like this is similar to, you know, let's say a soldier, you know, prepares himself for the war. And then when he goes to the war, he'll bleed less because he's prepared. He worked out. He has equipped himself with the guns and everything and he practiced them. Similarly, you also, before going to exam, if you 
practice very nicely and you're prepared then when you'll go to exam you won't get nervous you won't feel uh, you know uh, difficulties and you you can take things easily that's why like, if you put, put in hard effort it will if you will put, work hard now you will be able to reap the results during exam and you know in the form of results because you'll do good now next come back fine we have to find out the cofactor matrix now what to do that how to get that is see our matrix a is this we need to find out the cofactor matrix of it now cofactor matrix how we are going to do see i'm going to find out cofactor of each element in this matrix like cofactor of 1 cofactor of 1 cofactor of this one cofactor of 2 now see how to find out cofactor listen to me carefully this is a bit important cofactor of 1 is nothing but minus okay there is something like uh, i'll tell you the formula is minus 1 power i plus j into det of uh, the remaining elements i mean the element which you will choose if you will uh, if you will uh, if you will uh, you know element remove the elements of elements in its row and column the left out ones you have to put it for example see let's say i want to find out the cofactor of this one okay cofactor of this one what is one's position this i and j are like row and column row now row now like ij is like the position indicates the position like you see one is in first row first column right that's why i is one and j is one okay so for the for, for the for this element cofactor is minus 1 power 1 plus 1 because this one's row is 1 column is 1 that's why 1 plus this is in row 1 column 1 that's why this is 1 minus 1 power 1 plus 1 into det of now close this row uh, row and column like same as what we did for det so 2 3 4 9 fine now minus 1 power 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 1 power 2 and 2 9 is 18 minus 12 minus 1 power even number is positive minus 1 square is 1 so that's why we would get a 1 1 into 12 my uh, 1 into 18 minus 12 is 6 so that's why i got 6 now for cofactor for this now if you see this element see this one now i'm going now i'm finding cofactor for this for this okay see this is in first row second column first row second column okay so that's why minus 1 power 1 plus 2 into now if you'll close this and this you would get 2 3 1 9 fine so the calculation is there in front of you minus 1 power q minus 1 power 3 into 18 minus 3 2 9 are 18 minus 1 into 3 is 3 18 minus 3 is 15 right so minus 1 to the power 3 minus 1 to the power odd number gives a minus 1 so minus 1 into 15 which is nothing but minus 15 fine now cofactor of this one now cofactor of this one the third one okay i'm going a bit slow in case if you feel i'm going slow you can increase this video speed okay now for this this one's position is what first row third column first row third column so minus 1 power 1 plus 3 into 2 2 1 4 so close this and this 2 2 1 4 and 2 into 4 is 8 minus 1 into 2 is 2 minus 1 power 4 into 8 minus 2 fine so that's what i get like minus 1 power even number so it's plus 1 8 minus 2 6 that's what now now listen now listen here this is where some people could get confused listen cofactor of this 2 cofactor of this 2 now see see this 2 is in second row first column second row first column so minus 1 power 2 plus 1 okay next next into debt of see close the row close the column and row, row and column okay. now what is left one one four nine so you have to be careful some make mistakes here so be careful so fine now basic simplification one into nine minus four into one it's there like uh, nine minus four so minus one power three is minus one minus one into five minus five now this one this two cofactor of this two fine I'll speed up, don't worry. From here on, I'll speed up because I've explained enough. Now, for this, again, uh, position is 2, 2, row 2, column 2. So, that's why I get like 1, 1, 1, 9. So, 1, 1, 1, 9. Okay, if you look out, close the row and column, in which is there, 1, 1, 1, 9. So, minus 1 power 4 into 9 minus 1. 
I've just wrote the matrix. I just wrote the matrix again because we need to find out cofactors. Now the cofactor of three. Now the cofactor. You need not have to write this matrix again. Cofactor of three. Same. Uh, three is in row two, column three. So minus one power two plus three into one 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 four. Okay. This and this one 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 four. That's what I did. One 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 four. Four minus one is here. You're at three. Like minus one power five is nothing but minus one. So minus three. Likewise, I hope you guys can handle this, this, and this. See, you see, one is in one is in third row, first column. So minus one power three plus one into that of one, three, one, one, two, three. So that's kind of calculation is there. Likewise, this also uh, four is in row two. I'm sorry, row three, column two. So minus one power three plus two into this. I close this one, one, two, three. Fine, is there like and then cofactor of nine. Uh, it's in row three, column three. Fine. So minus one power three plus two. So this is it. Fine. So fine. Now if you see, we got like nine cofactors, right? Six minus fifteen, six minus five, eight, uh, minus three and one minus one zero. Now the cofactor matrix is this: six minus fifteen, six minus five, eight minus three, one minus one zero, one minus one zero. Okay. In place of the element, I just wrote its cofactor. That's all. So this is my cofactor matrix. Fine. Okay. Now next. Next. Acha, one more thing I wanted to share with all of you. See, we want something different in our life, right? Something different. But how can we expect something different when we keep doing the same thing? Listen to me carefully. If you always do what you always did. You will always get what you always got. Okay, see, it's pretty simple. If you'll keep doing the same thing, you'll keep getting the same result. If you want something, if you want a different result, then you have to do something different. Let's say you want good marks, and previous, let's say, uh, if you study one hour every day, you you could get like seventy percent. If you want eighty percent, definitely you might want to change your strategy. Either in that one hour, become more efficient, or increase the time to one and a half hours. Increase your study time to one hour. So something different you have to do to get something different. Right now, let's come back. We got the we got the cofactor matrix. Fine. Now, I, now we are going to find out something known as adjoint A. Okay, adjoint A. Now, what is this adjoint A? Adjoint A is nothing but just the transpose of cofactor matrix. Transpose of cofactor matrix. This was our cofactor matrix, and that one's transpose. So you know, right? You guys know, right? What's the transpose? You know, uh, columns become rows, or rows becomes columns. Any one thing you can take, like you see, this is first column. It becomes first row. Six minus five, one, and this one minus fifteen, eight minus one. This column became the third row, like six minus three, zero. Right? I got my adjoint. Now A inverse is nothing but A inverse is nothing but. See, this is matrix inversion method. So inversion is there. So inverse we have to find out, right? A inverse is nothing but adjoint A by delta, which is nothing but one by delta into adjoint. A. Delta a was minus one, uh, minus three, so here I have one by delta, so one by minus three to adjoint it. This matrix I wrote as it is. Now don't multiply these two the terms, okay? Don't do it now. Let's do it at the end. Fine. Fine. Now since a x equal to d, okay? Since a x equal to d, x is nothing but a inverse d. Okay? X is nothing but d. see. Ultimately, our objective is to find out x y z. That means we have to find out this matrix capital X. Fine. For that x is nothing but cap a inverse into d. Now why this is like that? If you want help, like why why a x equal to d means x equal to a inverse d, you can just ask in the comments box. Fine. I don't want to say that in this video. If you need help in that, ask in the comments box. I'll try my best to help you out. There. Fine. So x is nothing but a inverse into d. Basically, we have to multiply these two matrices, a inverse and d. So x is nothing but a inverse a inverse is this y one by minus three into this. Okay. And D is this one six three. If you guys remember in the beginning, I took. Hmm? So one by minus three into. Now see how I'm multiplying. Be careful. This is my first row. I'm going to multiply it with this first. So six into one plus minus five into six plus one into three. See, it's pretty clear. I have minus fifteen into one plus eight into six plus minus one into three. Same thing. Now six into one minus three into six. Fine. Now see how the multiplication works. Is this is a three by three matrix? The first one, three rows, three columns. This is a three by one matrix. 
this is a 3 by 1 matrix whenever these two are multiplied uh, we'll get a 3 into 1 matrix that's what i'm getting three rows single column if you'll solve it you add only get a single column fine chalo now 6 minus 30 plus 3 basic simplification you guys can just see it 8 6 are 40 at all the things 6 minus 30 plus 3 like that you know, just simplification you guys can just do it on your own fine now now here also some people get a bit confused see listen to me carefully 6 minus 30 plus 3 6 minus 30 plus 3 now what is this see first you can do the positive number 6 plus 3 is 9 now 9 minus 30 9 minus 30 is minus 21 9 minus 30 9 minus 30 is minus 21 okay in case if you feel like sometimes you are dif you have difficulty in like doing such things you could do 30 minus 9 it is 21 and then put a minus 1 fine i hope this helps you a little now next mm, let me just erase this okay now if, like this if i'll solve like minus 15 minus 3 is minus 18 48 minus 18 is 30 6 minus 18 is if it's difficult to 18 minus 6 12 put a minus sum minus 12 so this is what i'd get 1 by minus 3 into minus 21 30 and minus 12. now multiply this you know 1 by minus 3 to each term okay so 1 by minus 3 into minus 21 is minus 21 by minus 3 that likewise 30 by minus 3 like another and also minus 12 by minus 3 now minus minus cancel 3 ones are 3 sevens are 3 ones are 3 tens are and minus goes up so minus 10 7 minus 10 minus minus cancel 3 ones are 3 fours are so i get 4 plus 4 here okay see this is my x y z therefore x equal to 7 y equal to minus 10 and z equal to 4 is the solution of the given system of equations okay great one more quote i would like to say to all like he who struggles is better than he who never starts like you guys have seen my video up till now oh, now means you are serious about study you want to do something good in your life you want to understand this and get good marks so that you can make your parents happy hmm? so it's a good thing like he who struggles if you're struggling to understand it's good right there are some some students who you know feel okay we'll just study during exam time and we'll just clear it off like you know they won't struggle much and at the, at the end they just want to start you know they will just do time pass and all, and all like at the end they will suffer but you're struggling that is better you see if struggle is there see in any task you do struggle is there For, because struggle is there we should not avoid starting at least start keep struggling and then slowly you know you could better become better at what you're doing and then that struggle doesn't seem like a struggle in future okay so fine in case you like this video please hit the like button it would encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please just subscribe to it okay and not just this topic you can you know check out the different playlists available in the description and you could also go to the playlist section of my channel to find some other videos which could be useful to you fine so thank you